Fathom is changing the way products are designed and manufactured by helping designers and engineers think differently. In this online video series, What Can You Fathom?, learn about advanced technologies, proven methodologies, and state-of-the-art production centers from Fathom experts who make the unmakeable every day. Hi, my name is Veronica Della Rosa, and I'm an industrial designer here at Fathom. Hi, I'm Ava DiCapri. I'm an industrial designer at Fathom. Hi, I'm Carlo Quinones, and I'm Fathom's Director of Research. Mike North, the host of Discovery Shows in the Making and Prototype This, came to Fathom with a unique problem. So Mike's close friend and Google executive Dan Furterberg passed away while climbing Mount Everest in the Nepal earthquake. Um, so in order to commemorate his life, Mike and a bunch of his friends got together um, and Mike had said a few words in his name and when he got off the stage all his friends came um, to give him a big hug. Um, it resulted in a dog pile and he rolled his ankle and ended up breaking his fibula. We went with Mike to his doctor's appointment and were able to do the scan right there. Um, and once we had that scan uh, mesh data, we were able to bring it into Rhino and create a water type model that we could more easily manipulate for a CAD. Mike asked his doctor whether or not he thought a 3D printed cast would be a viable solution, um, and they agreed that it very well could be. Um, he was very open to it. Um, they were also trying to figure out if there were other features that could be incorporated into the cast, and they thought about pressure sensors, seeing that that would be a really great way to collect data to begin to understand what's happening inside of the cast. And that's typically a, a picture that people don't really get to see. Um, in addition, Mike had been doing a lot of research on sonic healing. Um, he had heard that integrating vibration into a cast could potentially help with the healing process. So he thought about integrating speakers into the cast, which would actually be a fun way to commemorate Dan's life since they both had a huge passion for music. So we mimicked the design of a clamshell cast where we split the cast down the side of his leg. And so he was able to apply some load to the, to the cast that we printed for him, which is a great improvement on a traditional clamshell cast, which you're not able to put any load on. There's also an accelerometer in the model um, to see how his movements correspond to the pressure sensors. And there's also a speaker so that Mike can um, feel more involved and be a part of the party rather than just sitting on the sidelines. He can provide the music. The Boomcast includes some pretty sophisticated electronics package. In addition, we also have a, a secondary microcontroller in there that runs a series of color changing digital lights that provide status feedback on the force sensing as well as more fun features that you've heard about. The unit also includes uh, Wi-Fi connectivity and so it's always connected to the cloud. Um, this allows us to you know, implement some really sophisticated Internet of Things frameworks like Resin.io which enables the cast to be remotely updated right, from our servers here at Fathom. The ability to throw together a project this complex in a little over a week has reinforced my conviction in the future of additive manufacturing, especially when it comes to embedded products like this. Thanks again for joining us for this edition of What Can You Fathom? For more information on what's happening at Fathom, please join us online at studiofathom.com or check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.